the Philippines. Pristine beaches, Gatorade Blue Sea, over 7,000 islands and even more beaches and we had to pick our top five after only one month of travel. And without further ado, here's our top five. Hope you enjoy. Are you recording? Yep. Hang on, I've got to get in the right position for this. This is awkward, we're setting up a swing. Right. Okay, we're good, we're good. Right, guys. Welcome back to another video. And welcome, I normally say that, she's interrupting me. <laughs> I, I'm the one that says that, but all right. Um, <laughs> We're doing something a bit different today. We're gonna to do the top five beaches in the Philippines. We know some of you aren't gonna agree with this. This is just from our one month's travel of the Philippines. That is why we're going back and we'll redo this video after we go again for three months and adjust it with the other beaches that we find. Yeah. Um, but they're gonna be the top five from our opinion. We've probably seen, I think we've done a list. I think we've done at least 20 to 30 beaches. So I think we have a good, good amount to compare. It's quite hard to choose five as well. Mm. I think five They're is so different, aren't they? Five is such a small number, um, but ten you start getting the beaches that are slightly too similar. So it's going to be hard, but I think we have a rough idea of we what do. we think is sort of the best beach, um, and you will find out. You will find out. But we're going to put some ground rules down first. I've, I've, I've thought some good rules. Okay. Okay. Right. So listen to these rules. We're not going to have sandbars. We've been to some amazing sandbars. Okay. Like Naked Island, Starfish Island. Kawagian, Caribbean, Samba, yeah, yeah. but they're not really, I don't know, I'm talking just flat out beaches. normal beaches. Sandbars is like a cross between an island and a beach in my opinion. Um, but yeah, without further ado. Okay, well we'll hit it with number five. Um, what did you think number five was? I'm gonna go straight in there with White Beach Port Barton. Okay, so to get to White Beach in Port Barton, we hired a boatman um, for about 150 pesos, I think. Was that there and back? 150 for the return. Which was really, really good. And that's just to get there, and it was worth it. It was so worth it. So um, he took us along, it took about, I'd say about 10 to 20 minutes, I can't remember the exact timings, from Port Barton's main beach. Um, and we got there and it was just, another little paradise wasn't oh it? you arrive and it is literally paradise you've got a few people that go there um it is one of the main day trip type things yeah. from port barton but you arrive and you've got this huge it was like an emerald green pristine curved beach with that beautiful yellow sand it was insane it was so good we even found a huge jellyfish there which was pretty cool wasn't it it was it was about this big it looked a bit like a spaceship didn't it yeah, it, it was, was huge crazy it was the prettiest thing i've ever seen um but that was one of our our highlights wasn't definitely it? you've also got a couple of like bars and restaurants there you've got a few locals knocking about playing basketball which was really cool um, it's just a much nicer beach, I would say, than Port Barton's actual beach because there's so many boats there. Yeah. So if you do get the opportunity to go, Definitely. escape the Port Barton and head to White Beach. Definitely. Well, maybe we should hit it with number four. Number four. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go in there and say Ilig Igian. Ilig My, I still Iligan. can't say it properly. <laughs> so you've got three main beaches in Boracay. Well, one main beach. Everyone goes to White Sand Beach, whether of you're in course. station one, two, or three. No brainer. Um, then a lot of people have been saying recently, Pukashel has been coming up, hasn't it? Yeah, Pukashel was one. And it could have made the list, but it's now become very, very busy because boat tours don't do island popping as much in Boracay anymore. They now do island popping around the island. Yeah. Pukashel is one of them stops. So you just get all the boats going to Pukashel. So when we went there, it was just like a mini Boracay White Beach, wasn't it? Yeah, it, <laughs> it was. It was literally a bit like White Beach because it's got really busy. But Ilig, Iligian, not many people know about it. No bars there. Nothing. No at results. All. And we even got stuck coming back, didn't we? We did. There was so when we when we got there, we obviously got a tuk tuk there, didn't we? Yeah. So we got there absolutely fine. Um, but as you expect, there's not going to be not tuk -tuk. tricycle. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, tricycle. We expected there to be a tricycle on the way back. But there wasn't. There wasn't. So we were just walking down this road with loads of locals and luckily we got helped out, didn't we? We did. But let's talk about the beach. Okay, sorry. So Sidetrack. Sidetrack. But when you arrive, yeah, again, only locals there. No tourists. That was crazy. It was amazing. And you've got this, like, amazing... You, out in front of you, you've got like three or four small little islands that are crazy. Oh, yeah, If we had island. longer, you, it would have been so good to kayak to. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to lose the hustle and bustle of Boracay, that is the place that to go. That is the place to go, Definitely. 100%.
Now, number three is going to be a hard one because you've already had two really good beaches mm -hmm. that had different things to offer. They yeah. were both really different. They were. Number three, oh, what would you say number three? Seven Commando. Seven Commando. Seven Commando, yes. That was actually recommended to us. Um, and when we went there, obviously well, that was part of the whole day tour, It was wasn't part it? of the El Nido Island Hopping Tour, so make sure you stop there first things first. Yeah, because you've got to make the, sure. the beach in El Nido, the actual main beach in the town, it's not very nice, I will say. So it, it's not not nice. I don't know if it used to be, comment below if it was, but it's not now. So but you want to find beaches. Boats, yeah. Again, yeah. a lot of boats, so we'll put that there. But when we arrived in Seven Commando... Oh, this beach is crazy. Jumping off the boat. Oh, oh it is paradise. You've you just got, can't... Go you, just, you could never imagine what this pristine beach would look like until you got there. It's just... It's quite small in comparison to the other beaches, but it is picturesque. It's got the whitest sand. It's got the blue waters. It's got the shack. There isn't oh, bars. All the cellars, yeah, the little... Oh, I love yeah. it. I miss it. All the little cellars. It's just it local, is, isn't it? it is, it's not built up. It's so up. good. And it's if you lovely. arrive at the right time, you won't have many people there. So again, if you book your own tour, you can go there early or go there late. And there yeah. is a couple of resorts there if you want to stay. But, but they're is, hidden out oh, the way. It is incredible. And it has a little bit of history with the name Seven Commando. So look that up and you'll find out more about this amazing, amazing beach. Into the top two now. Oh, see, it now we're just, it, we're just going to be topping these hard. so hard. Number two, okay. Now, number two and number one, I would say it was a really, really close. difficult choice. So go on, you can say number two. Number two is Lanas Beach. Carabao. And not many people are going to have heard of that. We spoke no. to local Filipinos and they hadn't even heard of it. They'd heard of the island, they didn't know the name of this beach. Not many people know the name of this beach. Like, it is remote. I think was, there's two was... little resorts on there that are more and like And there was no one stays. in one of them. And we went in no there to get there. food. There yeah. was no one in the beach, which was, uh, the restaurant, which was crazy. How was there no one in there? So we had to walk <laughs> along a little bit further. We found the nicest restaurant. Yeah, Molly found on. her little dog. At this point, just before, when we got into that resort where there was no one there, we were a little bit worried that we weren't going to get back because our boat wasn't there. It was late. <laughs> there was no one in the resort. And we were like, okay, how are we going to get back to Boracay? Yeah. But we did find a resort that had people, a restaurant that had people in. Um, we did have a red horse. And we're sorted. Of yeah, course. of course. And then I found my little puppy. Oh, look at her little puppy. Hello. So cute she was. She was lovely. She made that. But and this, the beach, the beach was incredible. Beach. Full okay. of locals, all the local kids playing in the sea. That Gatorade factory was yeah. definitely here. It's basically, it's like Boracay with no tourists. And I'm sure Carabao, because it is so close, is going to blow up soon. Very, very soon. And it fact. even had the bent palm tree hanging over into the, into the sea, which or Molly's into the photo beach. Spot. It was a perfect photo spot. And because there was no one else there, I could spend as long as I wanted getting pictures. So yeah. that was great. <laughs> that was it. We're going to get the drum roll going. We're at number one. <laughs> <laughs> number I'm one. I'm getting excited. Number one is Nakpan Beach. Bosh. This beach will stick with me for the rest of my life. It was just absolute. Uh, I could not tell you how much we love this beach. So the drive to it was quite bumpy, rustic, through little villages. Yeah, really nice. Um, it's and, about 45 minutes outside El Nido. Yeah, and, and you can have, there's obviously oh. buses backwards and forwards, yeah. so it's very accessible. But when you arrive, it is incredible. I think it's four kilometers. I might be wrong, it might be further than that. And again, it's got that beautiful curve. It's busy in the middle where there's a couple of like modern restaurants. But if you walk up to either end, the sand here, it's not just my favorite beach in the Philippines, it's the favorite beach I have ever, ever been to. Better than ever. Hawaii, better than Bali, better than anywhere. Honestly, it is incredible. The, and oh, the stretch of it, I can't even explain it. it. The curve is just like the perfect curve. The sand, not like this sand here. You'll find out where we are soon, but not as <laughs> here is nowhere matches it. Wherever you go, nowhere wherever you've been match. so far, has not matched it. So. <laughs> If you're in El Nido, Nakpan Beach is an absolute must. If you're in the Philippines, get to Palawan just to go to Nakpan Beach. I would rank it as number one all day long. Yeah. There might be better. We know there might be better, which is why we're coming back to explore more beaches. But for us, nothing so far has beaten Nakpan Beach. It was just as we were on the beach, if you look to your right, there was nothing. No one around the corner. There was a couple of like... Um, sort of selling new coconuts which were really refreshing. It was really good. If you look to your left, 
there was still no one, but there was the like islands and there was a few cows, wasn't there? There was cows the just chilling, which was cool. It was just remote, and I think that that will. I don't. I think it will be hard for me to find a beach that tops that. One hundred percent. But that is it. Nakpan number one. They are our top five beaches in the Philippines after only a month of travel. Once we add another three months to it, I'm sure this list will change. <laughs> if you agree with any, let us know. Yeah, Do com let us comment know. below what your favourite beach in the Philippines is and why. But we're going to wrap this one up. And as we've said, we're coming back for three more months. We're going to keep you on your toes. But if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe, drop us a like. And keep on dabbling.